We will be establishing communication and check the firmware on our Seymour CM5 HMI touch panel. Communication with the CM5 HMI can be done with a USB or Ethernet connection. The Seymour CM5 has a USB port just used for programming, which is especially helpful if you're physically connected to the HMI unit. Firmware is a type of software that is embedded in a hardware device. It provides low-level control of the device's specific hardware. Firmware is often stored in non-volatile memory and controls the device's essential functions. The Seymour CM5 HMI panel firmware is updated with the programming software. Currently, this is on version 8.14. CM5 firmware consists of the operating system and runtime files. Let's get started communicating and checking our firmware. Detailed information contained in this video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you at video 1. There will be links to the rest of the videos in this series as well. Establish Seymour CM5 Communication Start the Seymour programming software we installed in the previous post. When the software starts, the What's New Feature Guide will be displayed for our version installed. Once we have read the improvements and fixes for the software, select the Don't Show Again button, select Close. There are a few ways to program the Seymour CM5 HMI from our computer with the Seymour programming software version 8.00 or higher. We will be using the Ethernet plug into our network router. The Ethernet cable could also be connected directly to the computer. A USB cable can also be plugged into the back of the Seymour HMI and the computer on which you have installed the Seymour programming software. The USB port is only used for programming. The Ethernet port can be used for programming or communication with devices like a PLC. Start a project window appears when the Seymour programming software starts. You can change this option by selecting the option at the bottom of the window. You can also call this up the main menu, panel, read from panel. Select the read from panel button. Under the connection setup, we will see USB or Ethernet. As you select these options, the software will try communicating with the CM5 HMI unit. The red-green light indicates the communication status. Select the Browse button next to the Ethernet connection. This instructs the software to search the network and report any connected panels. Select the panel name, then select OK. You will now see the Ethernet connection has been selected and we have an excellent connection to the Seymour CM5 HMI. Our communication specifications will now be shown. Its IP address is 192.168.1.163. The page will also show information like runtime version, project date, project size, project name, etc. Select the Read Project button. This will read the project from the Seymour CM5 panel where we have established communication. We now have this program on our computer so you will not lose any information. Seymour CM5 reset the factory default. Resetting the CM5 back to the factory default is helpful if you want to start all over again for your program. Select Reset the Factory Default from the Main Menu panel. A warning message about the factory reset will appear. Select Yes to continue. Our Seymour CM5 HMI panel will now restart. As mentioned in our warning, we will calibrate the touch screen now. Since our screen will no longer have a program, we must establish communication again with the panel. See more CM5 download program firmware.
Select Project Transfer from the Main Menu panel. When the Project Transfer window opens, select Browse to find the new IP address after the factory reset. This will search the network for any CMOR CM5 panels. You will see our HMI physical MAC address, IP address, and name. Our existing firmware, or FW, version is displayed. A check mark beside the number indicates that this is the same as the CM5 programming software. Select the HMI, then select OK. The information on our CM5 panel is returned. Select Transfer to write the program back into the CM5 HMI. A warning message will be displayed indicating that the project will allow the configuration of IP address from the programming software. This can be changed by going to the main menu, Setup, Panel Network, Security, and deselecting Enable IP Address to be changed from software. Select OK. Our program will now be transferred to the CM5 HMI. If the firmware needs to be updated, it will also be transferred. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.